Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about literature review in clinical research. More after the intro. A literature review is an important part of clinical research as it provides the evidence needed to make informed decisions about patient care. It involves finding, analyzing, and summarizing scholarly articles, books, and other sources relevant to a specific research topic. In this video, we will discuss what a literature review is, the different types of literature reviews, the literature review process, issues to consider when conducting a literature review, and an example of a literature review. A literature review is a study of existing research on a particular topic. It involves finding, analyzing, and summarizing scholarly articles, books, and other sources relevant to a specific research topic. Literature reviews can cover any topic related to clinical research, from medical treatments to health conditions and theories of disease. They can be used by researchers, clinicians, medical writers, and other professionals in the medical field. There are two main types of literature reviews, systematic reviews and narrative reviews. Systematic reviews are comprehensive reviews of existing literature that follow a structured approach to identify and analyze all relevant studies. Narrative reviews summarize existing literature on a particular topic without following a structured approach. Besides these two, there are also some other forms of literature review, for example, scoping review, rapid review, or integrative review. But it is important to note that the boundaries between them may be blurred, and researchers may adapt or combine approaches to suit their specific research goals and context. The literature review process involves four main steps, literature search, critically appraising sources, research synthesis, and finally writing the review. The first step is to conduct a comprehensive search for relevant literature, which involves using databases and search engines to find articles and other sources. After identifying relevant sources, the next step is to critically appraise them for quality and relevance. This includes assessing the authors, journals, and other sources for credibility and accuracy. After critically appraising sources, the researcher must synthesize their findings by organizing them into coherent arguments or themes. Lastly, the medical or scientific writer has to write the article using the best available evidence based on the literature search, critically appraising sources, research synthesis, when conducting a literature review, there are several issues to consider, such as difficulties in finding sources, quality of sources, and relevance of sources. Finding relevant sources can be challenging as some sources may not be indexed in databases or search engines. Therefore, it is important to assess the quality of sources found during the literature search in order to ensure that only reliable and accurate information is used in the review. Additionally, it is important to assess the relevance of sources to ensure that only those that are directly related to the research topic are included in the review. Let's take the example of a pharmaceutical company with a new drug for treating people with high blood pressure. This drug has recently been tested in a clinical trial and a medical writer now needs to report on the results of this trial. The medical writer must prepare a literature review to provide the background and context for the clinical trial of this drug. They can do this by discussing current trends, including the gold standard in treating people with high blood pressure. This allows for the reader to understand the medical and scientific basis for the clinical trial, as well as the results and outcome of the study. When conducting a literature review, it is also important to consider the type of research methodology used in the sources reviewed. Qualitative research involves gathering data through methods such as interviews, focus groups, and surveys, which can provide insights into people's beliefs, attitudes, experiences, and motivations. Quantitative research involves gathering data through methods such as experiments, surveys, and statistical analysis, 
which can provide insights into trends and correlations between variables. Combining qualitative and quantitative research can provide a more comprehensive picture of a topic or issue than either type of research alone. In conclusion, the literature review process involves conducting a comprehensive search for relevant literature, critically appraising sources for quality and relevance, synthesizing findings into coherent arguments or themes, and using evidence-based medicine to make informed decisions. Literature reviews are an important part of clinical research as they provide evidence needed to make informed decisions about patient care. They can also help researchers develop new theories and hypotheses by providing insights into trends and correlations between variables. Thank you for watching our video and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.